Yo, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell. And this week, this man is all about manly cakes. That's right, I'm making a cake for myself. And actually, I'm only gonna use one cake layer. The rest of the cake is gonna be brownie, cookie, and cheesecake, because I'm ridiculous. You guys ready to do this? Man noises! Let's do it. Let the ridiculousness begin. So here are all the things that I'm gonna fill this cake with. These are all kind of my favorite things. So I have a six inch layer of marble cake, a six inch layer of brownie, one cookie, one cheesecake, and we're gonna fill it with chocolate buttercream. By the way, if you want any of the recipes, you can click the I at the top here, or you can get them in the description box below. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually chop this guy up, make a little cake frisbee out of him. All right, who's catching? Give me, give me. Brennan, ready? Whoosh. Yeah! Oh. Well, you caught part of it. So we're gonna fill this starting with the brownie layer, and I'm actually gonna glue him down with a little bit of chocolate buttercream so he doesn't slide around on us. I like that this is a heat cake. This is definitely a heat cake. This is a manly cake. So we'll put some chocolate buttercream down. So if this wasn't ridiculous enough, I'm actually gonna add some stuff in between the layers, some of my favorite things. So I've got my favorite candy bar. I've got some Oreo here, and have some chocolate Pop-Tarts, because growing up, I ate these every morning for breakfast, and they were my favorite. I didn't toast them, though. They're raw. Well, I guess they're not really raw. Well, I used to call it raw. In the morning, my mom would say, like, do you want a Pop-Tart? Of course I do. Do you want it raw or toasted? And then I could choose. Because if you toast it, it's all like warm, but it has a different flavor. I'm an expert on Pop-Tarts. All right, so we're gonna do some, <laughs> some pieces of candy bar. Yum. Add our layer of cookie, more chocolate buttercream. Let's put some Oreos in here. We'll do our cake layer next. Marble cake, my favorite. More chocolate buttercream. And then the Pop-Tarts. They're so good. Okay, the cheesecake is very delicate. Cheesecake's got an Oreo crust, by the way, because why not? Who's gonna stop me? Nobody. Very delicate, so we'll just push that a little bit. So I'm gonna pop this guy in the cooler, then we'll do a crumb coat and a final coat. Oh! All right, now we're gonna give her a crumb coat with chocolate buttercream. Just wait, keeps wait, wait. getting Did you just call her her? Oh, it's a guy! Him! I'm giving him a crumb coat. Oh, I can't keep him straight. Him. I guess technically we don't have to do a crumb coat because there's not any crumbs. We'll do it anyways because that's how cake design works. All right, let me give him a little haircut on top here. Let's get him back in the cooler, chill, and then we'll do the final coat. I'm gonna do this with the same chocolate buttercream. How many calories do you think are in this cake? 40 or 50. <laughs> Thousand? <laughs> Sealing in all that manliness. Brr. I'm not a good grunter. <laughs> like, brr, brr. Mm. I have a high voice, I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna get him in the cooler and we're gonna work on our skull and decorations. Manly. So now we're gonna make some chocolate decorations for the cake. I have a little bit of milk chocolate coating here and a little bit of dark chocolate coating that I'm gonna spread out Then we're gonna kind of break up into shavings. But a few of them I wanna have a little bit of texture. So I have these fun texture mats here that have all these sort of like animal prints. I think this one's like a giraffe. We got like a zebra, a cheetah. That's like a woolly mammoth or something. I don't know. What is this? Yeah. Who is this? Woolly mammoth. It's a woolly mammoth. Why wouldn't it be? They're super trendy right now. So I'm just gonna pour some of the chocolate over this. And we're not gonna cover the whole thing because like I said before, we're gonna break this all up and kind of shove it into the cake because that's what men do on manly cakes, I think. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna spread the chocolate out. Let's spread this one out. It seems to be a little more effective. What am I doing? Just pour it on there, dude. Let's do a marble one. Because who's gonna stop me? So I'm gonna get these guys in the cooler, let them set up for a few minutes, and then we'll bust them all up. Let's go, kids. For the top of the cake, I'm gonna sculpt a little skull out of modeling chocolate. Whenever I sculpt something, I like to have the 3D piece in front of me so I have a visual. I'm gonna get the general shape to start. I do start with the eyes just so I have placement of where the nose and the teeth are going to go. And then from there, I just, I don't know, build out spaces as I see them needing to be built out. That's why sculpting takes a long time. There, he's done. Now 
Now we're gonna add some color to his dead little face with some confectioner's glaze and some powder food color in black. You gotta kind of lay the color down and then take it off. It'll look less like he was eating Oreos in a few minutes. And here is the finished product, our manly skull. You ready to go on the cake? All right, so I filled a second tier the exact same way, and now we're gonna do a little drizzly drippy with some ganache that I melted down. That is sexy right there. That's sexy man cake. Drips. So now I'm gonna get them back in the cooler, and then we're gonna put the whole cake together. Oh, it's gonna be heavy. Ugh. Okay, now we're gonna stack the two tiers, but we're not gonna use bubble tea straws. Because we have the cookie and the brownie layer, it's gonna be really hard to get the straws through those. Um, I'm gonna use little dowels. We're gonna add a little bit of chocolate buttercream. <sighs> she needs to come back a tiny bit. He, he needs to come back a tiny bit. Oh man, I moved it. That was a cake slayer move. Backfired. <laughs> now I'm gonna grab the rest of my decorations and we're gonna finish this bad boy. Now that our chocolate has set for our chocolate decorations, I'm gonna pull it off of the mat. This is the woolly mammoth mat. Weird sound, fun texture. So we'll just bust it up into pieces. And these I'll use to just shove all in the cake. To start, I'm gonna put the skull on top using a dowel. Now we're gonna pipe a border around the top and the bottom. I'm gonna add my chocolate shavings that I made, some candy pieces, and some Pop-Tarts. Our man cake is complete. I got a little crazy with the decorations, but I think you turned out pretty good. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Man About Cake. Remember, if you want any of the recipes or tools, click the I in the corner of this video, or you can get them in the description box below. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and please leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see on future episodes. Let's cut this beast. Mm. I think a good chest hair.